Ladies and gentlemen, how you feel? Make some noise. Y'all can do better than that. This is Power Morphicon day one. Make some noise. Are y'all ready for your villains panel? Make a loud welcome for all of my villains coming in. Make some noise, loud, loud, loud. Make noise, come on in guys, come on in. Grab a seat, come sit down. Keep it going y'all, keep it going. Make some noise, loud, loud, loud. Welcome my villains. Everybody, if you would come in and introduce your name and your character to the audience, we can get this thing started. We need a lot more chairs. Oh, shit. Here, you sit here. Testing one, two, three. Yeah, get a chair for Rita. Even more, everybody gets a seat. Mr. Gaines, always a pleasure. Anybody that's not sitting on a seat, get your ass up and bring it up here. And there was a rush for the stage from people with seats. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Clayton Thomas. I will be your moderator for today. Make some noise for that. We're about to have an amazing time. Before I even get started with these amazing villains that we have here on the stage, I want to remind everybody, this is Power Morphicon. These people travel the globe doing convention after convention, and they meet fans like you guys all the time. So what I want you guys to do is keep your energy up. Any questions that you guys have, I want you to make sure that they are original, super different questions that you've always wanted to ask them. Does that sound good? Yeah. Does that sound good? All right, do me a favor, guys. We're gonna start very at the end. Please tell me your name and your character name and introduce yourselves to our audience. Eddie Frierson, Frax! <laughs> Jason Ibarra, Babu. <laughs> Barbara Goodson, Rita! <laughs> Robert Axelrod, Finster, and Lord Zed. Carla Perez. Rita! Kerrigan Mayhan. Golder! Jennifer Yan Vipra. Uh, I'm not sure who I was. <laughs> Vernon Wells Rancic. I'm Amy Roll and I was Trikina. I'm Vernon Ballesteros from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I was Pineapple the Clown. <laughs> I'm Latham Gaines, I was Mezagog. All right, so in order to get this started, I am definitely going to ask you guys a super fan question. Although I'm moderating, I am nothing different than you guys, because I am a huge Power Ranger fan, am I right? So, in order to get this started, let me ask you guys, what was one of you guys' favorite episode of Villainy? I'm going to start with you, Latham. Give it to me, man. Oh, man. Anytime I had, uh, I'm going to say Jason David Frank strapped to my table in the lair. Oh, that's my answer. <laughs> that, that was pretty awesome. Had that dude just strapped up, just walking around, being evil to, to Jason was, was good fun. So mine basically was no clowning around, so I had one shot, so one choice, there we go. <laughs> um, I would have to say my favorite, one of my favorites, was when I um, fell into the cocoon and kind of doubled yes, yes. up into a double bad guy with uh, one of my other villain monsters. Deviat, yes. He's actually my, one of my favorites, and I got some very cool parts of his costume from that morphing. Oh. Your turn. Um, what was my favorite episode? Uh, number one through 40. <laughs> um, I, I would say that my favorite episodes were the uh, episodes they did where they went back and showed who I was and how I became what I was. I thought they were extremely well written and really, really fun to do. And the other one that I had the most fun with was the double parter called Movie Magic. Yeah. 
where I chased the kids all around the Universal lot. That was kind of fun. I enjoyed that one. My favorite episode was when I teamed up with Rancic and his daughter, Nadira, to take on the Power Rangers. Uh, my, my answer's already been taken, unfortunately. That's never happened, but any time I'm kicking Jason David Frank's ass is my favorite. <laughs> my favorite, I'm torn, but I would say the wedding of Laura, Loretta, and Zita. And also, Doomsday, but you know, bittersweet. <laughs> My favorite was when we had Kimberly tied to a table and we were draining, <laughs> and we were torturing her mercil mercilessly. We were draining the power out of her body, and uh, I fought with, uh, with the White Ranger. That was my favorite. Naughty boy. My favorite was uh, turning the Green Ranger bad and hoping to keep him bad, but we didn't, we didn't do too well with that one. And the wedding. We like, oh, we we like marrying this guy. Yeah, the wedding. <laughs> um, mine was one of the few times I got out of the palace. That's when I uh, used that glowing jump rope and tripped Kimberly and Tommy. Remember that? <laughs> And I guess mine is the first time that Frax's eyes popped out and <laughs> discovering that maniacal laugh, which turned into a character trait that stayed on and on and on. <laughs> nice. This is what I would love. I would love to start this panel off with you guys lining up and getting informed. Oh, I like how you're thinking. I like how you're thinking. I want to line you guys up and get your questions ready. All right. I want to get to every single question. I want this to be one of the dopest panels you guys have been to. This is Power Morphic It only happens every two years, so we're going to make this the biggest thing possible. And I want you guys, ahead of time, I want to hammer this in your head. I want you guys to visit these people's booths, okay? Get merchandise, take pictures, sit down and talk to them. It's an amazing convention for that specific purpose. Say your name. Where are you from, buddy? All right, my name's Lenny. I'm from California. I don't live that far away from here. Okay, now, I got a question for all of you. <laughs> You guys are awesome bad guys, okay? But if you could team up with any comic book, DC, Marvel, any bad guy from another thing, or another Power Ranger bad guy, who do you want to team up with? Let's start from here to there. All of you. He spoke to y'all like y'all were uh, the heroes, and he was the villain. Um, I kind of based a lot of my character on the original Batman series, the original... Catwoman, which was Julie Newmar, who I freaking loved and worshipped as a child. So I would love to team up with her. Okay. Julie, if you're listening, call me. Okay, okay, okay. I would actually love to team up with all these Power Rangers bad guys. I think if we had some sort of episode or season where we all teamed up and just pooled our collective resources, that would just be dope. Okay. Okay. Yeah, he's got it right there. Uh, all of us together would be nice. But uh, second choice, I guess, would be, um, why don't we go for the Joker? Let's see, which one? Oh, wow. Jack Nicholson? What do you think about that? Yeah? Cool. yeah? Cool. Diabolical. Let's go with that. Jack Nicholson. Since I went good, can I pick a good person? Because I really like Tony a, Stark. Because he's really gotcha, a bad sassy guy. pants. How are you a bad guy? You're so good at heart. <laughs> okay, who do you want to team up with? Okay, I was going to say Catwoman too, but I don't, I'm going to come up with something different because she's super cool, but I don't, I don't want to be redundant. Um, I'm going to say uh, Poison Ivy. Okay. <laughs> it could be another Power Ranger bad guy. Two or anybody you want. Well, I was motivated by the James Bond women because they're pretty naughty. Okay. But they're strong and tough, and so that would be my answer. Um, apart from being Rancic, um, who I think is the best villain to be, um, I would probably want to be Loki. Team up with him? Okay, okay. Nobody has a clue who I'm talking about. Because he's a cool dude, he's just like Rancic. He'll kick your ass when you do the wrong thing and he can be nice when he wants to be. 
and he likes some people. I like my daughter. By the way, this is my daughter, Nadira. Big hand for Nadira. This is Katie's first ever, 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 ever convention. And I'm having a great time because I haven't seen her for seven years and for some strange reason she had a baby in that time. So damn it all, I wasn't involved. But that's it, Loki. Okay, next. I would have to say Mystere from X-Men. Mystique? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I like that she can disappear. Okay. Him? It could be another Power Ranger bad guy. No, I, I, I can't think of the movie. I apologize. And I, I think it put Tom Hardy, the actor Tom Hardy, Bane? on the map. Huh? Bane from Batman? Yeah, that guy. I okay. team up with his okay. ass. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, I love this lady because I like her hairdo. Maleficent. <laughs> I team up with uh, Tobin Bell's character in the Saw movie. Oh. So, okay. I think he's very clever. Let's say Barbara for last. Barbara for last. Ooh, okay. Barbara for last. You got a lot of demands for this question. <laughs> Barbara for last. Is Deadpool a bad guy? He's not, right? No. Okay, so I team up with Rancic then. Okay, him next. Him next. Dan Barber. Well, I've always wanted to be Kerrigan, so I guess I would say Gordon. Well, I have two answers. One is I'd like to team up with my old team of Squat and Babu and Finster and Goldar. Eh, not you, Lord Zed. Sorry. Hey. I liked it when I was in charge. No, I also like it. Anyway, anyway also the penguin. Because okay. he and I are about the same height. Hey, one more quick thing before I sit down. You guys are just as good as bad guys and any of those big bad guys have been out. You guys too. Yeah. Give them a round of applause. A round of applause, everybody. Nice. Thank you so much. Let's say your name, man. What's your question, buddy? Hi. Um, <laughs> love Rancic and Nadira. You guys are amazing. Uh, it's what got my brother into Power Rangers, so thank you for that uh, very much so. I wish I could ask two questions, but my question is actually going to be for Rita and Zed. Um, in Countdown to Destruction, when Zordon's dead and his little power wave goes through everything and uh, bad guys are uh, turned into ash, Rita and Z uh, Zed aren't. So they're actually turned into human form. So I want to ask you, what justified that? What do you think they did to deserve to be given a second chance? Zed and Rita had a probably the most human quality to them, humanistic, since they did have a relationship. And um, a lot of the villains were even against loving relationships. So, I mean, if you could, in a way, less loving. <laughs> so, I have a feeling that they were the most human, had the most human quality. So, they became to their true self in a way. That's my theory. But um, I think, it, yeah, because what was it? Machine Empire? What happened to them? They just blew up because they were machines or something? Yeah, they, they just. Yeah. yeah, well, I think they did that because there's always a chance that they'll come back. Oh. <laughs> That's probably yeah, it. They didn't want to just bump them off. Well, I know that Rita had a hard life. You know, she didn't just start out bad, she had a really nasty father, right? She lost her son. She lost her son. She, she had some tough, tough stuff, so maybe they just kind of gave her some time to maybe rehabilitate and go to therapy. Yeah. <laughs> I never got a Bible on Goldar. <laughs> we didn't have Bibles. You know, Babu never died. Babu was never in that scene. Yeah, so he's still alive. He's, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. And nice. you too um, are... I, I think... <laughs> Seriously, that uh, Rancic and Nadira had the best relationship, father and daughter. And I think it played out that, that my character would have done anything for her because she was the one thing in his life that was constant. And I think it was very much like humanity. I would defend her with my life, which I did, and I would 
make sure that everything she wanted or needed, she got, including a new fingernail when she broke her <laughs> fingernail. Yeah. Um, and it, I think that was kind of the fun of the, the series, was that they made the two characters very human in their uh, feelings for each other as a father and daughter. Yeah, I appreciated the father and the daughter relationship. It was very, I don't know. Yeah, it was played just perfect. Really it was grounded. Well. Thank you for answering the question I would have had for you guys anyways. So thank you so much. Thank you. Nice. Great question, man. I want to make sure I get, uh, sir, with the glasses at the back of the line, raise your hand. No, both of you guys do have glasses. Thank you. Uh, in line, I want to make sure I get to all of you guys' questions. So do me a favor. Veer away from the, I want to ask everybody, what is your favorite color? Okay, you, uh, now you'll turn. Oh, 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 and now you. I want everybody to get a chance to ask their question and for these people to be able to answer them. Plus, we don't have that much time, so I want you guys to be able to get everything in. Uh, and then I'm going to ask my question last because I want you guys to ask everything you can. Sir, what's your name and what's your question, buddy? Uh, my name is Jimmy. It's an honor to meet all of y'all. Uh, my question is for Nadir and Rensik. What would you think about Lucas trying to get with Nadir at the end of the crossover, and would you allow it and eventually evolve it into a relationship or more? My heart belongs to my father. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Nothing to say? Nothing to say. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? What's your name? What's your question, buddy? My name's Paul, and I'm from, uh, from Kansas. Um, from Kansas? Make noise for Kansas, y'all. There we go. So my question isn't really so much a question. It's actually a request for Latham to um, threaten the crowd as Mezagog. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. I'm in your heads at the moment. I see nothing. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> nice. How you doing? Amazing costume. I'm Sarah. Sarah, what's up? What's your question, sweetheart? You see the effect that y'all villains have on heroes? <laughs> Goodness people. gracious. Thank you. Um, Coming to get you, Sarah. Uh, if this is for Dio Talks. Dio Talks, what if, like. Go into the microphone. Um, Dio Talks, what if. The, you play with you. Um, Speak into the microphone. What if you got to team up with, like, um, a villain from DC? Any of you guys? Oh. Yeah, pick one person. Do you just want Diva Tox? Yeah. Okay, cool. Good choice, honey. <laughs> <laughs> um, from DC Comics. Um, what's, what's, what are they? Oh. Either one. I actually had a thing for um, Superman. And I think I could turn him. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> nice question. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing, man? What's your name? What's your question? I'm James, and this is for Rancic. Why go back to 2001? You could have, say, gone back to 1993 and wiped out the Power Rangers from the start. <laughs> <laughs> that is an amazing question. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you got him speechless, man. I broke Rancic. <laughs> I don't know if I should be proud of that or scared. All right. Uh, I guess Rancic can answer. Thank you so much for that question, man. Amazing question, buddy. <laughs> he broke a supervillain. Uh, come on up next, man. What's your name? What's your question, buddy? Hello, all. My name is Zach. It, <coughs> sorry, fro frogging through. I just, I was curious. What would you all do to draw inspiration to get into your evil characters? Pick a specific 
person or two people or something like that. All right, all right, all right. Um, Nidira. <laughs> I learned everything from Vernon. The first day of wow. shooting, we arrived. He was in camouflage. He had this amazing rock music playing in his trailer, and it inspired me to make a folder that had pictures from The Matrix. Did anybody see that movie, The Matrix? Yay! The girl in the black vinyl cat suit, and she was just doing these awesome uh, moves and everything, so I kind of modeled everything after that. So. Nice, thanks so much. Y'all come up now, stop being shy. Get up in here, come on, putty. What's your name, buddy? What's your question? Uh, my name is Ben, and well, this question would have originally been for everyone here, but obviously we're on a time strain, so I'm trying to narrow it down to the ladies in attendance here. Uh, thoughts on, I guess, basically the costuming for your characters back then compared to female representation in the show now? It's, I, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not noticing it as much, but it seems like there aren't as many like female villain characters lately that seem to have humanoid features so much as as opposed to whole costume coverage lately so just thoughts on comparison pros cons to that essentially ask that one more time okay. but a little yeah, bit more concise I'm... if you can i had a feeling it was gonna be tough yeah um, kind of like question yeah. like are you meaning like what do they think as far as how costumes were styled Early um, 90s compared to now, or are you saying like sexually or what? Comparison of, well, thoughts on how the out, how it, the characters back then, Diva Tox, Astronomer, Vipra, they all had like, it, uh, we all saw obviously human female features to them. The characters that we see in the more recent iterations are basically like full costume stuff, and I'm just wondering like what their thoughts are on that by comparison, because to me, like, I feel like you really can't compare now to back then, honestly. I can sort of answer something. There we I go, think. Barbara. Because um, of the movie that's coming out with Elizabeth Banks. Is that kind of... Yeah. Like, yeah. that's a different costume than... She's, she really looks alien. Rita uh, with alien. the horns and the cones. Um, <laughs> Well, actually, it's Brunhilde, I think. Wasn't that the opera singer? Yeah, first. Well, no. There's an opera singer from 100,000 years ago that wore the horns on their head. The Viking, yeah, and cone boobies. So um, I kind of miss the fact that she's not going to be doing that. I, I, I thought, you know, I don't mind that she's doing, like, green ivy. What's her name? Green you know, poison, poison ivy. ivy kind of costume. But I was hoping that she would also do a throwback to the original Rita. So I have, that's an answer of some kind. Yes. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, man. Very good question, buddy. How you doing, man? What's your name? What's your question? All right. Hey, I'm Justin coming from Illinois. Illinois, make noise! <laughs> All right, so uh, my question's for Melody, actually. Um, so I just want to know, what was it like for you uh, coming from being like the, the, the badass villain astronomer to becoming one of the best pink rangers, in my opinion. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Uh, it was actually a pretty natural transition. Um, I'm definitely more pink ranger style in my actual life than I am villain style, so uh, it was fairly easy and it was an honor to do that. It was super exciting. Does that answer your question? Okay. Nice. Very good question, man. Did not confuse us at all. Appreciate that. <laughs> How you doing, man? What's your name, buddy? What's your question? Well, well, well. <laughs> uh, it, it's great to see you all here. Now that you guys are here, are here I can finally ask this question. And it's for everyone. Uh -oh. No, it is not for everybody. <laughs> Pick two people at the most and talk into the mic for us, buddy. Come on, let's answer it. Uh, uh, I guess if I can only pick two villains, I pick... I pick... I pick Melody and... Uh, Barbara and Robert. That is three. <laughs> and we're looking for two. Uh, that's okay, that's okay. Yeah, you gotta put one back in the jar. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it quickly. What's the question? Oh, yeah. Oh, then 
I just pick Melody and Barbara? What's the question? Now, between of, of all the big, the big bads, we've, the big bads as bosses we've had, Dark Spectre, Queen Banchera, the Magnificence, and, and the Master from Mystic Force. My question is, out of all those four, who would you say is the most powerful? Not me! I only know Dark Spectre. He brainwashed me, so... I can't really speak to the other ones. Um, but he was scary, that guy. What about you? <laughs> that's it. I don't, I mean, she never won, so that's not too successful. <laughs> Poor lady. Nice. Great question, man. Thank you. I vote for him. That was a hell of a bill of voice just then. I put you in top three, obviously. How you doing, sir? What's your name, man? What's your question, buddy? I'm Brendan. I'm Brendan, and I'm from Ohio. And Ohio! My question is, it's for, uh, I would say, for Barbara and uh, Kerrigan and um, Robert. Okay. okay. Two. <laughs> I love how I say two and y'all sneak three in. Okay, like I'll, I'll, take, I'll take Barbara and Kerrigan. I was going to say, if you guys could team up with the, with the villains from the 1987 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated series, such as Shredder, Krang, Bebop, and Rocksteady, would you be open to it? Hell yeah. All, all right. Yeah. I think you ought to pitch that. Pardon me? Yeah. I think you ought to pitch that. Yes. Yeah. Yes, write the script, sell it, and cast it. Okay, I actually wrote a fanfic about it, and maybe, maybe I, I could send it if there's any way to do so. I have no clue, but I'm willing okay. for you to do that. Okay, I could, I could probably post the fanfic on the Mor Morphicon fa Facebook. That, that might work. All right, well, anyway, thank you, and... Nice, nice. Appreciate it, man. How you doing, buddy? What's your name? What's your question? I'm Josh. My question's for Latham. You had the fortunateness to play good and bad in the same season. Was that a hard struggle? I'm just playing the good part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> playing the bad part uh, came easier. No, it was really fun. I was Jekyll and Hyde, and that's always a really fun thing to do. So no, I wouldn't say it was a struggle. The two characters are really very different. Uh, they weren't really, uh, they, they weren't aware of each other. So I thought that was interesting. I played it that way as if they really didn't know the other existed. Um, but I loved it. It was really fun to do Jekyll and Hyde. I preferred playing Mezagog to Mercer, and Mercer's <laughs> really just like me, and Mezagog was uh, Mezagog. So. All right, thank you. Yeah. Great question, buddy. Thank you so much. How are you doing, amazing hair? What's your name? What's your Thank question? you so much, I know. Um, I'm Andy, I'm from Texas. Texas! Uh, yeah. Texas are Texas, yeah. My question is for Robert Axelrod. I, I was wondering, what is your favorite character to voice on Digimon, Digital Monsters? Uh, I'd have to say Wizardmon. Yes, man. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> yes. I really enjoy that character. That's all right. <laughs> nice. I'm this guy has the best hair ever. He just flipped it back. I saw it. This guy's incredible. How you doing, man? What's your name? What's your question? Hi, my name is Byron from Colorado. Colorado! Hey, everybody. My question is for uh, Diva Talks and, and for either Rita. Either one is fine. Um, what do you feel is missing currently from children's programming, whether it's uh, television or comic books or, or storybooks? What do you feel is, is an integral part in the storytelling process to make them successful human beings, to make them successful adults? Obviously, they need more diva talks. <laughs> <laughs> what is missing from children's programming? Hmm. I'm an illustrator in training, and um, well, I'm working on storytelling. Well, I think uh, more exciting shows with conflict are yeah. uh, needed. Good, colorful action shows with... Uh, Believable oh, characters, blood. like in the day of okay. the Power Rangers, I think. Uh, <laughs> need more of that, more of that, the Mighty Morphin <laughs> style. Yeah, he answers Things are for getting me. a little bit too techno. Things are getting too techno nowadays. Uh, 
Yeah. Some of the big action pictures are just getting so techno with these special effects. Yeah, the writing the, isn't as important the, as yeah, the, the, the special effects. You've got to have story. You've got to have some story, too. Yeah, they depend too yeah. much on CGI. Yeah. Yeah. What, nice. What she said. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, buddy. Pink Ranger. What's up, man? Hello, What's hello, your name? Hello. Where you from? What's the question? Hey, I'm Sal. I'm from Nikia Barisa's hometown, Stockton, California. Stockton! And first off, Nadira, I love your hair. Nadira, I love your hair. Um, <laughs> secondly, Carla, I told Barbara this at the last Paramorphicon that my little sister was born in 1995, and her name, she was named Rita, because I love Power Rangers. <laughs> so just wanted to share that with you since you weren't here at the last one, but welcome. And it, my you. question is for Melody. Oh, jeez. Um, <laughs> during the, the legendary battle when you guys were in New Zealand, yes. how did you feel about the astronomer throwback where they showed her really quick right, before, or right after your line saying, I love being a Power Ranger? Did they tell you that? Did they Photoshop it? What was... Oh, no, we did it. Oh, and really? I didn't know until I got there that they had planned on doing that until they were like, oh, you need to go into fitting for astronomer. So... That was really exciting. Yeah, oh, let's put on some spandex. Um, yeah, that was actually a super special day. And I said that actually in the last panel to walk on set in Astronema, and it was just everyone. How did everyone react? Uh, I would say second unit, we had a good laugh. <laughs> there were a lot of busted lips from Astronema and in space, so yeah, there was that. Awesome, thank you. Uh -huh. Nice, amazing costume, man. Amazing costume. How you doing? What's your name? What's your question? Uh, hi, I'm Karis. I've come from England, so... Hi. England! <laughs> uh, since this is a villains panel, and um, one of the funnier things about some of the villains in Power Rangers is that they seem to be very strange combinations of household objects put together. So, um, Lord Zed, if you were to create a new monster for us today, what strange household objects would they be used to create a new, new monster? Well, you mean the monsters for household objects, right? Yeah. How about Whisk Man? <laughs> you know, what? Whisk Treadmill Man. <laughs> oh, I see. Blender Man. Mr. Dumbbell. <laughs> Thank, you. Um, Thank you very much. Cupcake Monster. Vision, vision. <laughs> Thank you so much. How you doing, buddy? What's your name? What's your question? Puff Pastry Hi, I'm Matt Man. From New York. <laughs> New York! My question is for Frax and Goldar. Um, there was one thing your characters could do to undermine their evil masters. What would they do? Destroy them. Destroy them. Oh man. I don't know. That's that's tough because. Uh, well, had you to better be, come up with something. Well, it had I to be nothing. subservient to get through. They just to to trick them like I did into not knowing that Doctor Ferris was inside of me, and. Uh, and, you know, but it, it's too bad since Nadira locked me up and it was so, no, Nadira, no. I, um, I don't know what I would, I, I, I guess to be more evil so that it would be, you know, this, so that they would think um, it was more like them and then switch it on them somehow. I don't know. I don't know how I would do it because, you know, we were... We were learning it as it went along. I, what, a, what would have been great is to have been the writer, and then I could have done anything. You know the old, uh, I'm probably um, dating myself, which is becoming more and more prevalent. Uh, <laughs> uh, going out for a pack of cigarettes and never coming back, I think that would pretty much say, say it all right there, don't you? Well, maybe, maybe that was a little too much, huh? Thank you. Did, Go did Goldar do that? Go out for a pack of cigarettes and not come back? What's that? Did Goldar do that? No, but, Go on. you know, why not? <laughs> Enough of both of your asses, huh? Right? How you doing? <laughs> what's your name? And right. what's your question? Hi, my name is Laura. I'm from Rochester, New York. New York! Rochester. My question? Yeah. Yes. Been to the downstairs cabaret theater? Oh, I met you the other day. 
Uh oh, Frex. That's your accent sound familiar. It was a Rochesterian accent, so well, okay. Um, my question is for Robert. I was uh, I was wondering what your thoughts were on the uh, softening of your character after complaints that your your character was too evil, and uh, how did you transition to that as an actor? How did I transition? To yeah. How how do you, as Once an actor, they tone down the. I mean, de developing. Um, oh well, or I, I just went character. with the writing, and tried to make him as evil as possible, within the, within the parameters of the writing. I mean, if they, the wedding scene, was not an evil scene, you know. It was Isn't that, so. That that? <laughs> Lord said, had a little fun, <laughs> you know. It, uh, though for him, fun was. Destroying the Power Rangers. That was the true fun for the But character. they told you to tone it down, right? Yeah, well, that's... And I didn't... I didn't, per se, consciously tone the character down. Uh, the writing toned yeah. it down. Yeah. yeah. Right, so what were yeah. your thoughts about that? I saw it as the beginning of the end. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. I, th I thought... Uh, Great question. Thank you so much. How you doing, buddy? Before you even say that, man, I want to give you guys so much credit. Like, everybody up here, you guys have done so many different seasons and so many different things in your career. It's why you guys are still working to this day, because you guys are so talented. And that's not something to fall on deaf ears. You guys are super talented. It's an honor to be able to have you guys here at Morphicon, and it is a pleasure to have them be able to talk to you. That's just my thought. We'll go ahead and the question. How you doing, buddy? You. Uh, top that, and what is your question? Yes, thank you for that, by the way. My name is Gio, and uh, my question is for Diva Talks, because um, I love divas. Um, but I was wondering if you got any influence from uh, Barbara and Carla's character uh, in your evil character. Oh, definitely. I mean, they were just, they were the OGs of the whole thing. <laughs> and they were so powerful and strong and, and crazy and funny that I just, thought I've got to go in that direction. I've got to be, you know, just as crazy and funny and powerful as they are. They're awesome. So, but I hate them. <laughs> I like that answer, yeah. except for the last part. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great question, man. How you doing, buddy? What's your name? What's your question? Hello. Amazing t-shirt. Oh, thank you, Sean. Um, I just want to first say that uh, the villains are always the best characters. You guys probably Woo! each yeah! share my favorite <laughs> quote from your respective series. Um, but my question is for Viper and Nadira. Um, you guys, your characters' designs basically were straight from the Japanese series. Um, I want to know, did that have any influence on how you played the character? They didn't necessarily use a lot of that footage, but did that have anything to do with the personalities that you guys put into the characters or were allowed to put into the characters? I didn't know there was a Japanese Viper until later. So, no, I didn't. It's probably better that I didn't. Cool. When I went for my first fitting, they showed me a picture of the Japanese Nadira. And she had a little pixie cut, and mine hair was very long, so I thought, well, this is a little bit of a difference. But she was bad. And I usually Japanese culture is very polite and gracious, but she was bad. So <laughs> it was really exciting to get some motivation from that. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Great question. Last question. How you doing, man? What's your name? What's your question, buddy? My name is Jeremy. I'm from England. England! <laughs> I feel really pressured now. It's the last question. OK. Um, the question is for Pineapple the Clown. Oh. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> that really helps ask the question, actually. Uh, it was going to be, to what extent does your character really freak you out? Because I still kind of have nightmares from Pineapple the Clown. Say that once again. How does it scare me? Yeah, to what extent did your character freak you out yourself? <laughs> oh, wow. He didn't really freak me out, really. He should have. No, what happened? <laughs> yeah, especially the way I dressed up last time. What really, um, how I learned he was freaky was 22 years later when I came to this thing dressed up. 
and I actually seen the fear in people's faces and they were freaked out. That's when I knew that I made an impact of all these lives and you kids out there that are now grown up. They came up to me and said, you're the reason I'm afraid of clowns. <laughs> you're the reason I wet the bed. And, and um, that's an amazing compliment. You know, it really is. Screw them. Thank you. Oh, you guys are great. You guys are great. Thanks a lot. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to do me a favor. First of all, these are the villains. I want them to go. They are going back to do their photo ops. They're going back to their booths. I want everybody in this room to do two things with me. Number one, I want you to visit their booths, buy their merchandise. When you're talking to them, give them love. Don't just walk past the booth. Even if you don't have any money and you just want to say hi, say hi. They're here. They're not going to bite you. That's the first thing. The second thing, I want you guys to stand up and give them a standing ovation for their time and them being here at Five More for God. These are the villains. Make noise. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. I am going to photobomb everybody's pictures so I can be in here with the villains. Also, there's another uh, panel going on after this. And if you guys are around, I am moderating the Forever Red panel tomorrow. So make sure you guys are here for that. It's going to be incredible. My name's Clayton Thomas. Go to Instagram and find everybody. Oh, and vote for Goldar for president. <laughs>